Hey, you got your pin number. It's on and popping. It's on and popping. We finna get paid, right? Out of did a lot of shit just to live this here lifestyle. Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. <laughs> my name is Lakasa and welcome and I welcome back to my channel. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So in today's video, you guys, in today's video, in today's video, in today's video, in today's video. In today's video, you guys, I'm going to be discussing my first YouTube paycheck. So to hear all about my first YouTube paycheck, then just keep watching. All right, you guys. So let's get into this content. The requirements for you to even be monetized on YouTube is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. You have to have 4,000 watch hours. 4,000 watch hours, not 4,000 minutes. 4,000 hours of watch time, you guys. 4,000 hours, okay? I was, so I was like, what? 4,000, how? I'm not gonna ever get there. I did it and you can do it too. Okay? Okay. So the first thing I would tell you guys to do when you first start a YouTube channel is make sure that you go ahead and go to the YouTube um, studio thing. I don't, you know, I don't even really know. Let me see. Let me see. Go to your YouTube studio and I can't really find it. I don't know if I don't have it because I've already met my monetization goals. But it's pretty much, it'll be a screen that you'll see and it'll have like a, um, something that basically tells you when you hit your 1,000 subscribers and when you hit your 4,000 watch hours. So it tells you exactly where you are in the process of hitting your 4,000 watch hours and your 1,000 subscribers. Go in there and it will give you like, um, some steps to take to go ahead and set up your AdSense account. You want to go ahead and set up your Google AdSense account. Okay, so go to your Google AdSense account and pretty much this is what it's going to look like. It's going to give you um, steps on what you need to do in order to set up your account. So like it has my account information, it has like my personal setting. What you're basically going to have to do is you're going to have to put your name, your tax ID information, which is normally your social security number if you are under 18. I have heard that you would need to use your parents' information, your address, they will confirm your address and all of that good stuff. So that is what you need to do to start off your monetization or your partnership or the partnership program with YouTube. And I tell you to go ahead and do this because once you hit those 1,000 subscribers and those 4,000 hours of watch time, they will go ahead and start the process of sending out your PIN number. So you won't have to do anything. You They'll just automatically do it. But if this part right here is not set up, once you hit the 1,000 subscribers and the 4,000 watch hours, this is a step that you will have to do. So go ahead and get this step out of the way. Okay, so like I said, once you have hit your requirements, they will send you this piece of paper in the mail. And this basically has a pin, a pin number. So it tells you exactly how to input your pin number. You will also get an email saying, um, they have sent out an email, uh, not an email, you will get something like on your screen on YouTube saying that they sent out your pin number. I know I got something like that. Um, I want to say I got an email too, but I'm not sure. So my timeline of getting monetized. So I started being consistent on YouTube in August of 2019. I was able to apply for partnership June 7, 2020. So um, that was what August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. So that was 10 months. Took me 10 months to get um my 1,000 subscribers and my 4,000 hours of watch time. Then I was approved for monetization the next day on June 8th. So it, did, it took me a day, it took me 24 hours to get approval for the partnership program. Some people say it says it takes a month. Some people says that 
I don't know, but for me, it took me a day, and that was on a Monday. So I applied on Sunday. That following Monday, I was approved. I was approved on that Monday, and so then on June 15th, 2020, I got something telling me that the verification form was mailed out to me, which was the following Monday. So I got approved on Monday. Then next Monday, I got something saying that my pen has been sent out. And then that following Monday, which was June the 22nd, I received my pen in the mail. So, yeah, three weeks, three weeks. So, okay, so you're saying, okay, you got your pen number, it's on and popping, it's on and popping, we finna get paid, right? No, hold your horses, hold your horses. <laughs> you have to meet a threshold of $100. What that means is you have to have $100 before they will even deposit any money into your account. And from my, like you have to put like direct deposit. And from my understanding, anybody in the U.S. has to have direct deposit. I think it said something like that on the Google AdSense page. But I could be not telling the truth, but I think I read that somewhere. Um, so like I said, you have to meet the threshold of $100. Um, payments are month to month. So, um, payments are month to month. So what that means is what you make in July, you get paid in August. What you make in August, you'll get paid in September. So it's a month behind. So if you don't meet that threshold, so say like you get started in July and August comes and you don't meet that $80 threshold. Well, you have to wait until September to get that July and August payment and hopefully those two together will, will make that $100 threshold. So, what you guys are here for, how much was my first YouTube paycheck? <laughs> my first YouTube paycheck, you guys, was, before I tell you my YouTube pay paycheck, let me, let, me, let me go over some stuff about this Google AdSense first. So, um, I put my pen in on June the 22nd. They pay out on like the June, like the 21st of each month. So my time had, well, I got approved. I got approved on June 8th, right? They pay out on June the 21st. So I didn't have enough to even, you know, get anything that month. And I wouldn't have gotten anything anyways because I got the pin after the deposit date. And they normally deposit on the 21st of each month. So, what happened was, let's go and look at my Google AdSense. So, from July, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, from July 1st to the 30th, I made $82.27, right? I got monetized June 8th. From July 1st through the 31st, I made $98.38. So, you know, the starting balance was $82.27. I did not get paid out in July because I didn't meet the threshold for June. I didn't meet the $100 threshold. So I did not get a payment in July. But my payment from June and July equal to $180.65. So on August the 21st, I was deposited $180.65, as you guys can see here in the screenshot or the re screen recording, whatever I plan to do. And then my ending balance is zero. So if you want to see about how much you have made for the five, for like for, for now, my estimated revenue. So for the last four weeks, my estimated revenue has been $150.64. That's from July 27th to August the 23rd. Let's see if I could change that. I'm on my iPad, so it won't let me adjust it. I can look for my last seven days. I made $32. So I have um, 2,000 subscribers, a little. I have 2,100 subscribers. So this is about how much I'm making as a small YouTuber. As far as my CPM, CPM is how much you're getting paid per 1,000 views. And my CPM right now is... $8.84 on average. I, I really don't look and see which each video CPM is. I just look at the average. Your CPM can just, it can change depending on what kind of content you're putting out, who's watching your videos, where, like United States, United Kingdom, different stuff like that. So, yeah. 
right now my CPM is like eight dollars and like I said that's per a thousand views so yeah you guys that is how much I'm making right now as a smaller youtuber so now that you guys have heard about how much I made <laughs> $180 in two months it took me two months to make $180 <laughs> do not I repeat do not do YouTube for the money you know, it's a lot of people who just say, I want to do this for the money. I want to get paid. I want to I wanna get paid. I want to do it. I want to get money. I want to I wanna be famous. For the majority of us, it's not that easy. <laughs> it is a lot. It's hard work. It's trial and error. It's like, okay, well, these keywords over here didn't work. Live with, with this keyword and, and title work, you know, it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. And if you are doing it just for the money, you will not continue to do it. You you have to do YouTube because it's a passion of yours. You're talking about something that you are really passionate about. Something that you care about. Something that keeps you recording even if you're not making the money that you want to make. Okay? Okay. I and mean, I can't say it'll come. The money will come. I can't say that because I'm not there yet. <laughs> I'm not there yet. That is the purpose of me making this video. Hopefully, I can look back in a couple of years and be like, dang, I was only making like $100 a month, and now I'm making VUCU? Like, what? 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 <laughs> yeah, let's manifest that. Let's manifest, okay? <laughs> okay. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time i upload a new video okay okay also give me a big thumbs up you guys give me a big thumbs up and until next time i'll holler at you guys later peace out